So first of all, let me explain what is study gap. It's basically straightforward. What is the division of time that you are not studying as a student and you are doing something else? For me, I was playing, sleeping, playing, sleeping, playing, sleeping. Yeah, that's playing. I cannot uh, play. Yeah, I can go uh, both way. Uh, whichever calculator you are playing. So that's what I did and because of the COVID, uh, everyone, like literally everyone has a study gap right now. I had a study gap of two years. Two years is a lot for a student like me because academically I was very uh, active but uh, due to the COVID, uh, just wandered off. Uh, now, what a study gap can do to your academic career? Uh, suppose you're applying to any big country like Canada, Australia, USA, uh, Netherlands, right? Switzerland, any country, Poland if you want. Uh, you can also, if you're talking about Germany and any other country in the world, if you're applying with a study gap, what happens that when you, uh, when your files or when your documents go to the uh, embassy, what they will see is that this student has a study gap of this certain period of time. What that creates is a bad impression on your profile. Like this student is not studying for a certain period of time. But officer in the bus, you will also think that you'll go there not to study, you'll go there to do files by me and everything like that. So what he does is rejects your visa. That's a uh, bummer for uh, all of us. So what should you guys do? What I have learned that Malaysia is among some of the only countries that don't consider a study gap for students because it is like a hub for the students that has study gap in their academic career to fill up that gap. That's where Malaysia comes in. And the Malaysia doesn't want anything from you. They don't want your bank balance. They don't want your any statement, your financial documents, nothing like that. They just want two things. One is your passport and other is your academic documents that you have studied at least something, at least something that you can show the immigration officer that yes, I am at least this. I have at least this qualification that I can come. Other countries uh, like Canada and USA, uh, any other country like Australia, the immigration officers will ask you that why do you have a study gap, why you're studying this, why you're going there, right? But uh, in Malaysia, uh, nothing will be like that because the immigration officer knows that you came here to fill out that gap. Okay, so now that we are done explaining the study gap and everything, now I will tell you what should you do to cover up your gap. Go to the university's website and you have to select either a foundation course or a diploma course. And let me tell you why. You did your school, missed your college, you want to go to university or you did your school, your college, you missed a couple of years, then you want to go to university. So if you missed your college, like me, what I did, I missed my college. So what am I doing is that I'm pursuing my diploma. So that will, what do you call it, compensate the information and the knowledge and the basic information that I lost during my college time. You have already completed your college life. You should definitely do a foundation because you already know the college things, right? No other studies against waste of time. The foundation will create a bridge course prerequisite. It's called a prerequisite course or module, something like that. I just call it a bridge course because uh, suppose this is your college and this is your university, you have this gap. So this foundation will create a bridge for you to cross. I call it a bridge course. I don't know. So I just call it a bridge course. I don't know why they call it a prerequisite course that are so difficult and hard to pronounce. So after you have completed your foundation or your diploma here in Malaysia, what you should do. Right, after the completion of your diploma or foundation, now you decide or your parents decide that you want to go to a different country. What will the immigration officer in this country or in the country you will go will consider you as? First of all, they will consider you as an international student because you are here in Malaysia currently studying as an international student, right? So first of all, that will be included in your profile. Secondly, you are a, sorry, sorry, not this one. Secondly, you are a running student because before that you had a gap in your academic career, but now you are a running student. Now you have been studying continuously in this year, so you don't have any more study gap in your profile. And thirdly, you have a fresh up-to-date result, a degree, what do you want to say? 
because when you are applying or when you are pursuing a higher degree in a different or a bigger country like Canada, USA, Australia like that, they don't want a very high caliber result. They don't want that because I have already tried there with the high caliber result. It doesn't work. What they want is a very fresh, up-to-date result that has just came out of the oven, just gorom gorom bhaat, like that, right? Gorom gorom bhaat jokon kauke surf kore, how's the feel? Very hot, like that. They want you to be hot. I mean, your results to be very up-to-date and fresh. No study gap, no other bullshit, right? You also have a travel history because you came to Malaysia. So these things, these four or five things will become very significantly important factors in your profile that will ensure the success rate of your visa in that country. This uh, compare two profiles, right? Here is a student, suppose in Bangladesh, that has a study gap of two years, uh, has no travel history, is not a running student, and has a, a school life and has a school equivalent certificate. And here's a student who is a running student, an international student, has a travel history, has a up-to-date results. Now it's up to you. Suppose you're the immigration officer. Who will, who will you choose? This, 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 this. Obviously this, because if you're smart, you'll definitely choose this guy because this guy will give more advantages to your country compared to this Shofik that doesn't study, right? This is also a Shofik, but this is a smart Shofik. This is the dumb Shofik. Shofik here doesn't want to study, has no idea what he's doing. This Shofik knows his shit. That's why he got the visa. So this video is just a short and summarized version of what I am doing and what are my future plans. And what you guys should do to fill out your study gap if you have one. Definitely everyone has a study gap right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. More videos and tips and tricks will be coming soon. Till then, I'll see you guys in the next vlog.